My name is Diane Plama and I'm the CEO and founder of Your True Shade, which is a natural makeup line with products suitable for persons with sensitive skin and eczema. Necessity is a mother of invention and it was because I was studying mechanical engineering in Sweden and it was so difficult for me to find my correct shade of makeup as a black woman over there. So I just decided to use my background in chemical engineering to basically just develop my own line of products. So once I graduated, I came back to Jamaica, got the products tested at Bureau of Standard, registered with Ministry of Health, and of course, doing continuous um, research and development and tweaking formulations, and then, you know, I just have the line. I started making it while I was a student in my student apartment. And I just ordered some simple uh, machinery and started making them in my dorm room. So when I came back to Jamaica, I actually had started already. It's just to, you know, formalize the business and streamline everything and tweak formulations and so on. The very first person I told was actually a good friend of mine. She was in the Netherlands and we're always throwing around ideas together. She's another Jamaican student and I told her and she was very excited and she actually helped me to come up with the name True Shade. <laughs> the reason why I came back was to actually to start a company. Um, I also um, was approached by UTEC to lecture some courses there. So I actually work there as well, but based on the hours, it's quite flexible. So I still have quite a lot of time to focus on my business while also helping students to you know, get interested in um, engineering as well. Before coming back to Jamaica, I actually had mentioned it to you know, a friend that, hey, you know, I'm thinking to come back and start its business. And it was a lot of negativity that was being projected to me as somebody who does not want to be a part of the brain drain. You know, she was telling me, um, you know, how much money is she's paying for rent, car payments, and she was really trying to persuade me not to come back, saying that there's no hope in coming back to Jamaica. When persons use the products over time, I would get feedback, whether positive or negative, and that will help me to, you know, whether go back to the drawing board, try and do some reformulation, tweak stuff, and improve it, and also to listen to the market as to what exactly they want, and then go back to the lab and create it. The vision of Your True Shade is to be the leading brand of the Caribbean and its far-reaching diaspora, which doesn't just spread across Europe and America, but we have Caribbean people living all over. So that's definitely where I want to take Your True Shade and of course, you know, showing the expertise of being able to produce something that is very good in Jamaica. We've definitely grown since 2015. Uh, when we just started, we had, of course, just the foundations and the loose powder. Now we've grown into foundations, powders, bronzers, our newest addition, which is our glow powder. And we've actually gone into hair care products for weaves and wigs. One of the key areas of my business is the ability to do custom shades for clients. So if a person, let's say they have vitiligo or um, hyperpigmentation, you know, they give us a call and we create a custom product for them. So that is a uh, premium consultation offer that we have. In another five years, I want to be in at least four more Caribbean islands. Currently we're in Barbados and Cayman, and also to, you know, expand to with Northern Europe and um, maybe additional states in, in the US as well. Your True Shade is definitely my passion. It's something I believe in, something I want to grow and expand. I just want to be able to inspire other young women to say, listen, you can go into um, science and technology. There's lots of different things you can do with it. Not just working in a 95, but you can also start your own company trying to solve some problem that's out there.